Okay, this video is about unboxing an original packaged um, Texas Instruments Compact Computer 40 or CC40. It was also named. Um, let's take a look at the backs, back side of it. Um, well, first of all, it gives you some introduction text. Um, tells you about peripheral that you can attach to it and can use with it. So, for example, like cartridges, a printer plotter, which is shown here, and I will unbox it also today. Uh, a wafer tape, digital tape drive for quick memory access. Um, RS-232 parallel interface, and also by adding a telephone coupler, a modem, you can communicate with computers, but uh, there is a dedicated um, modem even uh, released for the um, in in with a hex bus port. So here you can see the never released wafer tape digital drive, and here you can see some connected peripherals and cartridges in the front. Uh, most of the um, hex bus peripherals have um, a note like the, the wafer tape drive never was released. Um, a very uh, unique and we don't know where it is uh, at the moment so there was also a video interface uh, developed um, which was uh, in, a, in a case like this so not larger than this and it connected um, to the it was able to connect the compact computer uh, to it and then gives you a a nice um, TV output or monitor output um, to some. Let's see where do we get that open to work with uh, the compact computer on a television screen. So, like an external um, output, video output. And if you have that device, if you have that Hexbus video interface, please get in contact with the community, uh, be it uh, on Yahoo Groups, be it on Atari H. Uh, we would be very interested in seeing this device in action. Um, also having, I will turn around, I think the light is better like this. Um, let me give that. We need to use two hands with that to not destroy anything of the packaging. So here we go. At the moment we are opening that compact computer 40. Oh it's even on the styropore. So this uh, material is called styropore in German. I guess it has some common origin. Maybe it's the same in English. I don't know. So, um, the, the smaller Hexbus devices always come in a um, um, uh, thing like this, that on the top you had an, a several, like a, a second hole for manuals um, or, or some accessories of the device and like this. Wow. Seems like now I'm destroying it. Uh, read me first. Read this first. Okay, I will send that in immediately. Do not be late. It's a market research and some addendum to the user guide. So the user guide is really thick. You can see. Um, I didn't imagine that it's that thick. Um, it's about that as uh, thick as the one from the from the Texas Instruments home computer but in a smaller size, of course. But let's see, maybe we... Okay. It's uh, numbered a bit difficult to guess the number of pages, the total number of pages, because it's um, separated in chapters. Here again, we have an addendum about that the Vivo tape digital tape drive was not available, or it's not available. It's not coming out. We know that. And here is something I didn't have yet and love to see in action. 
the Texas Instruments CC40 basic quick reference card. So here's, I guess you all know those from the Texas Instruments home computer and this is looking very similar to the one but it's perfectly fitting for the use uh, of the CC40 um, and the basic language. Very nice to have that. Okay, um, so still we have not opened the box. I'm doing that now. And we have, as it seems, a brand new CC40, uh, which is having a, like a, a layer here. You can see that I can push that. I don't know where, where is that place or where I can put that aside because my the one the model I have was really in heavy use or at least it was not uh, protected that such that much so it was coming without that so this is the device at such the computer here is the bottom front and let's take a look at the nice device. So this is the cartridge expansion slot. Um, there were several cartridges released and several cartridges produced but not released. Uh, or at least not mass, mass produced. And uh, it seems to be that this is the basic uh, overlay here. And there were also other overlays like for the different cartridges and their use cases and their shortcuts. Here's the display protection still uh, on it and we'll turn it around. Now I got the layer off. So without the layer it looks like this. Very clean uh, keys so it's really unused I guess. And let's turn it around. Here we have this is just for me from being sweating a little bit. Uh, we have here, here you can see that it's assembled in the USA. It's uh, the ATA date code. The date code here says that it was produced, assembled in the ATA. Uh, this is a shortcut. There is also a LTA shortcut and that stands for the building or the, the factory where it was produced. Um, there's also ACH in Europe and uh, which is Holland and some other things and then second um, the two digits afterwards is the week and the second uh, the third and the fourth digit is the year in which was it produced so it was produced in 83 in the 24th week in the factory called ATA uh, Please be, please don't nail me on that. I'm, I can look it up and uh, link it to the YouTube video maybe afterwards. Um, yeah, the serial number is quite high. Um, I don't know how many companies are faking the serial numbers to start at a certain number. Um, this seems to be very nice uh, unit to work with so I'm looking forward to work with this unit and connecting it to the CC uh, to the uh, peripherals to the 998 and uh, maybe even the 994 uh, because I also have the Hexbus um, interface for the 994A so here seems to be the a volume control uh, I guess and here is the cartridge slot and so you can use it, uh, you can uh, work with it um, uh, on batteries, so it's totally portable, or you can uh, connect it to a certain power supply. Uh, I think it's called AC9201, if I'm right, at least for the US. I don't know yet the counterpart for the power supply for Europe, if there was anyone, any official one from Texas Instruments. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So here we have so put the things back together that I don't lose them. 
I'm very, very, very glad that I got this finally. Um, and I'm able now to work with it and give it a try. Because with, with, with things in this clean state, it really makes fun to, to explore them and try out things and stuff like that. Yeah, at this point I would like to, to thank uh, Chiro Burial who, who uh, donated me uh, one of those compute uh, user guides for that CC40 in a preliminary uh, edition. Um, and I'm glad to have that. It's uh, like an um, original print from TI, I think. And uh, I will be able to now um, uh, compare it to the, to the final print. So thanks for watching. This was the CC40. Goodbye.